the next result we are going to show is in, in um, uh, discrete metric space every one point set is open in a discrete metric space every one point set is open in rd every one point set is an open set this is not true in uh, uh, real line rd in rd discrete metric space this is possible we are going to prove this Now, we are going to take an, an element generally, uh, this is Rd, suppose, you know what is a discrete metric space, I just take on a general element in Rd, let A, A element of a discrete metric space, then already we discussed any open ball with center at A radius is 1 will contain only one element in only discrete metric space because in discrete metric space the distance between any two elements is either 1 or 0 it will be 1 if x is equal to y 0 if x is not equal to y so what is meaning of this b of colon is this is nothing but set of all elements x is that the metric distance between x and a must be less than 1 there exists no other possibility of second element only if it is equal to 1 means Okay, but if it is less than 1, only one element satisfies this condition that is the element A itself. So, any open ball whose radius is 1 will contain only one element. But just now we proved that every open ball in a metric space itself is an open set. But every open ball in yeah, metric space is an open set. Just now we proved. Both theorem. This theorem you should cite it in uh, while writing this theorem. So, but every open ball in a metric space is open. So, which implies that the singleton set A is open in this completes the proof. So, if they ask in a bigger question, we have to ex uh, we have to prove this one as well as this, or you can write like this and explain this result separately. The next page. Okay. Now, some remarks. This is not a result, but we have to understand uh, that only in uh, discrete metric space, singleton sets are open. But if it is the real line with a usual metric, absolute value metric, then single point sets are not open. If you take an element, a general element in R, that is R1, then A is not open in R. Why it is not open, we are going to give the reason. Because for every for every open ball in R, every open ball in R is an non-empty open interval. In uh, real line with the usual metric. Okay? Every open ball is nothing but an open interval. And certainly, if you take a single term set A, this single term set A cannot contain 
contains no interval. See, in real line, suppose I take one single set, singleton set A. This is not open. If it should be open, that set, you have to take one general element and try to prove that any open ball about that general element should be inside that set. But definitely, uh, in uh, real line, opens, uh, open ball is nothing but open interval. Open ball is nothing but open interval. So, uh, he, this is a singleton set, it has no other element except OA. How can this uh, singleton set A can contain an interval? It is not possible. No, this set singleton A cannot contain any interval. So, it cannot contain any open ball. So, if it contains any open ball, then only we can talk about open set. So, what is the final conclusion is, singleton sets are not open in real line with absolute value metric. But singleton sets are open in discrete metric space. This is a, these are the two problems we can consider and you have to explain like this, why it is not open. Singleton sets are not open in real line. So this is the reason you have to write. And also a set is open or not depends on the metric space under consideration. So now we are going to see what is going to happen if we change the metric space. Um, a set which is not open will become open. So that's what we are going to see. Now, um, now consider the entire real line. So consider the entire real line plus infinity, minus infinity. And we are going to consider a half open interval. Half open interval means zero. And suppose this is a whole uh, one by two. Hole is there. And this is included and all points in between this. So everything is considered except this 1 by 2 including 0 is included. This is the interval we are considering now. This is called as a half open interval. Half open interval we represent like this 0 comma this side is closed and this side is open and it is, that's why it is called half open intervals. So now this is the entire uh, the metric space under consideration is the entire real line. The metric is the usual absolute value metric. So the usual absolute value metric. The distance is usually measured, no? distance between any two points. That metric only. That is called usual metric or absolute value metric. So now this is the set under consideration. Now whether this set is open or not, we have to see. We are going to see why it is not open. When we consider the metric space under consideration is the entire real line and the subset we consider is what? The half open interval. This is a subset of the metric space M. So now under this metric space this set is not open. Why? Because you take, you take a point here take a point suppose I am going to take 0 as the point 0 belongs to this set A definitely so if this set has to be open we have to take one open ball to center at 0 and radius is some positive number so that that is entire open ball must be inside this A that not possible here if you take suppose you take R equal to 1 by uh, suppose a positive uh, number no need to two. So now go, suppose, suppose, uh, I don't want to write this. So now we are going to disprove that this set is not open. Let, let us consider one element, say 0. This half open interval. I am considering this element 0, 1 by 2. Now, you cannot construct an open ball whose center at 0, radius may be as small as possible but must be positive. 
radius. Now this open ball, what will happen is, suppose the radius is this much, the open ball means it is an open interval. So it will be like this. So only this set, this side, na, right hand side of the center will be inside this uh, A, that is the red one. But what about this element? This element is belonging to metric space but not inside A. So for this open ball, this is not completely contained inside what? 0, 1 by 2. So at least one element I found out that, that, that condition for open set is not satisfied. So this implies that the set half open interval 0, 1 by 2 is not an not an open set in the entire metric space R. One element is enough. I, I just uh, showed that this is not satisfying the definition of open set. So then, so the set is not an open set. But now, if I change the metric space under consideration, so now suppose instead of the entire real line, we are not going to consider the entire real line. Suppose, I am going to consider 0, 0, 1. So this is my metric space under consideration. M equals to 0, 1. Now, the same set A I am going to consider. So, 0, 1 by 2. Now you can see, <coughs> here this is not a problem because this is a point is removed. So any element you take here can find an open ball which is lying inside this. So this side is not an issue. But about this point now, now what is the open ball? Suppose I am taking the point 0, open ball whose radius is r. See here there is no other, no other element because the metric space it starts from here. So this open ball is nothing but see the radius will be here suppose only up to this right, left hand side we don't consider because there is no element present because the metric space itself starts from 0 to 1 and this open ball is this part and this is definitely it is contained inside what the given metric space m which is equal to 0 comma 1 so what we come to the conclusion is so the same half open interval if the metric space is the entire real line it is not open but here if we change the metric space that is uh, instead of real line we consider 0 comma 1 and this and this open open interval is a subset of this 0 comma 1 and at the point 0 that is the only point uh, which failed in the previous thing so and uh, at the point 0 the left hand side there exists no element so here this open ball will contain only the elements to the right hand side of 0 but up to the distance of less than r so this uh, open ball is uh, contained inside mm -hmm. and hence it is an open set so so what we come to the conclusion is to change the metric space under consideration the set can become uh, open set but not always some sets now the next uh, result uh, we are going to see In any metric space, in any metric space, both the full space and the empty space, both M and the empty space pi are open sets. So this is the metric space under consideration. We are going to prove that the entire metric space itself is open and empty set which has no element that is also open by default. So now, um,
if we take in a general element of m i'm going to show that m is open if we going to take general element of m then every open ball about this point x is surely contained is contained inside m definitely whatever element you take x yes, definitely there exists every open ball about this set will be inside what m yeah. so for the definition of open set at least one open ball is enough but here every open ball about this uh, general element will be inside matrix space m hence the matrix space m is open what about the empty set the empty set say pi is open simply simply because there are no element x in pi no element in pi and hence every x in pi satisfies the definition of an open set that is a, uh, that is no element so if any element is there then that condition must be satisfied so so it is a uh, assuming by default that every empty set satisfies the definition of open sets if any element is there only we will disprove it there is a small element so by default it is assumed that <coughs> every empty set is open so now we have proved uh, just now Uh, every metric space the full space and the empty space are open now the next result that we are going to prove is what about the, if the suppose there are two open sets suppose a metric space m there are two open sets g1 and another set is g2 what about the union of two open sets whether that is also open and what about the intersection of open sets whether it is a finite intersection or a, a countable intersection that and all we are going to discuss that is the next theorems we are going to see let script f this is like a family we call it as a family let f be in a non empty family non empty family of open sets non empty family of open open subsets because uh, sets uh, because the uh, family open subsets of a metric space y then union of all this open sets inside the family we denote like this is also open subset of no we are going to prove it. suppose a family means uh, suppose we do not by this symbol there are many open sets suppose g1 g2 g3 like this countable collection not necessarily finite a countable collection all these open sets are belonging to the bigger metric space mm -hmm. suppose this is g1 this is g2 g3 g4 something many are there and all these open sets you collect it and put it in a set we call it as family of open sets that is denoted by script f and now we are going to prove that if we union all these uh, open sets in this family then that resulting set is also an open set 
now let i am going to union of everything let h denote that set that is the union of all sets g in general we say g1 g2 g3 we simply say g that g must come from where that family means of g1 g2 g3 you can write like this also so union of all the open sets in that family that is the meaning of this that is the h now we may assume we may assume that at least one element of g say of this family one element of this family is non empty if suppose every element of this family is empty set then what happens is if union of all empty set is empty so h is empty but automatically just now we proved that empty set is also open so the proof is over but now we are assume that at least one element of this family is non non empty so at least one is non empty we assume like this now let us choose an element let us choose an element say x in h so we take one general element of this h and we are going to show that there exists an open ball whose center is at x which is completely inside h if we prove this one then the set is h is open since so what we assumed just now is so let's choose an element x in h which implies if x is element of h implies x is element of g for some g is belongs to the family see that is nothing but uh, something like this g1 union g2 something like this so if i take an element in h it should be any one it should belong to any one of this g1 g2 suppose this one it belongs to g2 that's what i said suppose x which implies that x belongs to g for some g in the family in general we are just talking about uh, in general way so some g in here where that g is open g is open therefore this x belongs to g and g is open so which implies i am going to use the definition here this is by definition where exists an open ball where exists an open ball say b the center is at x and radius is something or greater than 0 such that this open ball is contained completely inside g which implies b of x colon r is a subset of x because if it is this open ball is a subset of g definitely it should be a subset of h because h is the union of all these open sets so this implies that so what we have taken we have taken one general element of h then we just now proved that the open ball about the general element is also inside h so by definition of open sets which implies that h is an open set this completes the proof that is for union it can be a countable collection the g1 g2 g3 not necessarily a finite collection of the in the family it can be uh, countable collections if a union every one then the resulting set is also open but same thing is not applicable for intersection you cannot intersect a, a countable collection so for intersection it should be finite that's what we are going to prove now next before going to the next uh, result uh, there is another one result is there every subset of rd is open every subset of a discrete metric space is open. 
how to do this this is the corollary of the previous theorem so previous theorem is if I have two open sets if a union of them then that is so open so now in RD singleton sets are open sets it is proved some result is there just now we proved it now I just give the number uh, in RD yes this one just now we proved it singleton set in RD are open sets the theorem number you can straight it in but every set in RD is the union of singleton sets okay suppose there is just some set A this A contains 5 elements suppose all are singleton sets this is A suppose this is B suppose this is C and this is D and this is E. So A contains 5 elements. This is an RD. We are talking about RD. In RD, it's a big space. Okay. RD. Now suppose A contains 5 elements. All the singleton sets are what? Just now proved previously singleton sets all A, B, C, D, E. All are what? Open sets in RD. So, and previously we used that if this is an open set, so if we union all these open sets, that is also open. Therefore, if we union all these open sets, that is also open, that is nothing but A. Therefore, A is an open set. But every single, every set in RD is a union of singleton sets. And hence, every set in RD is the union of open sets and hence open. This is by previous theorem. This is by the previous theorem. You can cite that one here. Okay. Or you can write in your own version. Every singleton set is nothing but union of open sets. And hence it's open. So this is one small result. That is uh, every subset of uh, RD is open.